Howdy folks. How about something that is inexpensive but it can detect acetone, acetylene, alcohol, ammonia, benzene, butane, ethanol, ethylene oxide, gasoline, hexane, hydrogen, methane, naphtha, natural gas, paint thinner, propane, and organic solvents and refrigerants. In a small package and easy to use, there it is. Boom, I'm back. Boy, that thing will detect a lot of things. Last month, we uh, it looked like the government was going to come down on anyone using a natural gas uh, line for a uh, cooking stove. You know, like it was going to become outlawed or something. And even stop the sale of them and stuff. And there was a study and it was, it was quite the mess. And the only statistic I even saw in the whole thing uh, was there was 13% of children with autism have... Uh, natural gas stoves in their homes. There's over 40 million natural gas stoves in American homes right now. So that was kind of like, you know, I don't know how to feel about all that with the statistics, especially statistics. You can't ever really trust them anyways. But uh, the chemicals and something like this that detects it, or a leak in this case too, uh, is something, you know, maybe we need to consider this because I no sooner got into this and we saw train derailments that had horrendous amounts of uh, fumes and toxic chemicals just flying around in the air. So it would be almost nice to say, you know, hey, well, you know, I've got something that'll detect better than my nose, you know, and check these things out. But you saw the long list. There's a lot of leakage. Uh, especially like myself around the car sometimes doing auto repairs, you know, gasoline leaks sometimes. I don't always smell it, but this thing will detect it and find it in a hurry. But also the natural, the whole natural gas line thing, uh, I have natural gas here. I have a natural gas cooking stove, you know, yeah. So I, I was really uh, surprised about that whole situation with uh, them trying to, you know, stop the sale of them. Because, I, you know, we used to, we were told, it was the, what, the cleanest form of energy and uh, burn cleaner than anything else. And they don't really. Uh, there's benzene, there's a lot of other toxic chemicals that are sort of unburnt that come off of using a gas stove inside a home or even a restaurant for that matter. And the thing is, if it's well vented, not like a power vent over top of your stove or something to help suck the fumes out, you're probably not going to be exposed to, you know, much of anything at all. The problem, of course, too, with that is these chemicals, like the benzenes and all that, some of them are heavier than air. So in other words, when they come off that stove, they actually go down lower where children are. So yeah, I can see, you know, there may or may not be a connection or a problem there, but God knows we've had gas stoves since, what, 1920s or something. We've had natural gas in the house to, you know, cook with. And uh, the furnacing is exhausted outside, so there is no fumes. Uh, same with my uh, hot water tank, there's no fumes. It's exhausted outside through a chimney system. You know, there's no, there's no exposure to it, but there's still leaks. So this is to get around leaks. So uh, our friends over there at Top Test sent this over to me and I uh, thought we'd check it out, you know, and just see what it can do. I put it near the, uh, I took the gas cap off the John Deere this morning put it near the uh, put it near the, the tank and of course the thing went off to red immediately <laughs> but but it also uh, detects other uh, things like the butanes and the you know a lot of other stuff like uh, acetone that sort of thing so we're going to test it but it's easy to use it's a really simple function first you got to power it up of course and it comes with three batteries and it's going to power up right now now, as it powers up, what it's doing right now is actually sampling the air around me right now so that I have a baseline to go with. Uh, leak situation is one of those ones like the natural gas, like I have, is it, is, it has that little bit of stinky egg perfume, you know, in there specifically. So in case there's a leak, you know, you smell it and go, oh, you know, we got a problem. But there are some sm small leaks. There it is. It's ready. It's now taking a sample. So now I can set this thing off. We'll just sort of crack it open. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we went, uh, it's calming down now. Okay. So it's kind of cool. It showed me that there was a problem, but I can put that anywhere around that right now. And of course, there's nothing left. There's no residue, or there shouldn't be. The valve is shut off. But if you've ever been curious about that, you know, yeah, you know, it'll check for, you know, a leak. Here's a sim. this is how simple this thing is. It's just got a power on, power off button. So, 
And you can either mute it so that only the gauge works or you hear the beep, beep, beep sound. So you get a button for that. You got low, middle, uh, medium, and high for sensitivity. So right now, uh, I think I'm set on low right now. And also this, this uh, strange button here that's, that's actually, this you can turn this on and it's a timer button. If this thing sits for 10 minutes, it'll shut itself off. So it's a battery saver button. That's all, that's it. Yeah, that's the whole meter right there. And for the, uh, they list for about $36 for what I checked this morning on Amazon, but there's also, again, coupons and you know codes, stuff like that. You can get a little discount and get a little cheaper if you decide you need something like this around. The RV, the refrigerator in the RV, there's a, if you've ever had one of those leak, that can be really nasty, but here's something they can check that out. The stove is another one. Uh, when you shut your stove off and you natural gas, sometimes people don't feel real comfortable about it. So you can actually check the, de you know, detect it and just check and make sure that the stove is in fact off. And also up underneath the stove where your connections, your regulator, stuff like that is, you can go under there and, you know, check it out. Uh, because the weather today, <laughs> can't do what I was going to do, but we were going to go to a uh, gas system where the uh, regulator and the meters and everything are and just scan around it to see if there's anything there. Now, I can tell you right now, there isn't, but when you're out in the weather and you're out in the open like that and you do have a leak, you are probably not even going to smell it because of the it's going to break before it you know, gets to your face kind of thing. But if you put this around your fittings and stuff, this will detect that that leak you know that you're not going to even smell it but then you'll know and say okay i've got a gas leak we've got a problem or we're spending money on energy that we're not even getting so they're pretty good pretty good little uh unit for a lot of different applications the acetone caught me too because um i've had acetone and then try to wait to make sure all the fumes are gone something like this can check for acetone and make sure all the fumes are in fact evaporated and gone and everything's harmless but also just checks the air in general. So there's a lot of different chemicals, you know, you know, wood shop, any kind of, you know, working environment, but also around commercial applications. There's a ton of stuff that, you know, they could fall in line where something like this would, you know, help you out. And I gotta explain to you guys, we are giving something away today. So stay tuned, because yes, we're having a draw. And next Thursday, we're giving something away. I can't imagine what that would be, but uh, yeah, we're giving something away next Thursday. So we'll get into all that in a minute. Uh, just. Wanted to show you this because it's an interesting product for a very low price. It actually, there's a lot of convenience and a lot of, you know, a lot of things involved these days with what's going on. Here's the uh, sniffer. I guess we'll call this the bloodhound part of the dog right here. It's like, this is what's going to sniff it. And you've got a flexible cable that you can, you know, bend and do, you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever shape you need to, especially if you have to get around something and reach down into, you know, check something where you can't get to, but you can check to see if there's a leak there by smelling it out kind of thing with the, uh, We'll call it the, the, the sniffer meter. <laughs> but it's a gas leak detector is what they call it. And uh, I'll have a link in the description below where you can find these guys. And uh, I'll see, I don't know, I don't know if Top Test is giving us a coupon or deal or something like that. If they are within the next 24 hours after the video is released, check back. Uh, there may be a coupon deal or something posted afterwards to help, you know, to get you a good price on this uh, meter. Comes with the three batteries, some basic instructions that are pretty easy to follow. There's really nothing to it. Put the batteries in, turn the unit on, wait for it to get the ambient air sample, and then you can go ahead and start testing for leaks. On another note, just before we finish, it also does, uh, I noticed it does methane gases, that sort of thing. So uh, if you and the, the wife are watching TV one night and she blames the dog, you just like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we thought about testing that today, but uh, that would be tacos and beans or something. Anyways, we got a draw from last weekend for the uh, moisture meter from the same company, uh, Top Test. They sent over a couple extra ones, or at least an extra one to give away. So we're giving away a moisture meter. Yes. And I cut all you guys' names up, entries uh, in tickets. And let's see if I can get them all in here. And we're going to put those in the hat. And yeah, this is a good one. I got mine still out of the box with the batteries in it. So you're getting a, you're getting a brand new one. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't been dropped yet. Not, not around here. Anyways, we've got the uh, tickets here. And let's see if we can't come up with something. And... Huh. Oh man, I know who this is. Yeah, he's in California. I'm yeah, 
good guy. Just he just never wins anything. His name's in there every every time we have a draw, and I always feel bad because I never get anything for him. But wow, uh, Chris, and you're in Molestro, Molestro, California. Okay, yeah, your zip code is. 95355 there, Chris, so you know who you are, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Man, Chris, you're getting a moisture meter so you can run around and check all them redwood trees out there in the forest. <laughs> cool. Now, we have something next for next Thursday, and I let's see if I can go find it. Yeah, there it is. You see, they sent me an extra one. This is actually... A brand new one, still in the box, unopened, yeah. And this is what we're gonna give away next week. To enter the contest for the combustible gas leak detector from Top Test. Uh, boy, easy to use, low mid-range sensitivity. It'll measure up to 100,000 parts per million. Yeah, yeah, that's PPM. And a low battery indicator, 10 minute auto shut off if you want it, visual and audio alert, and pressed for mute. So, wow, there's your features right there. But uh, we're giving this away next Thursday. And so, how to get in on it is you just send an email to uh, ctrewards at gmx.com. Now, in the subject line, uh, let's use the word test. That's easy enough, right? Just test, T E S T. And uh, let's see, uh, just your name and address, nothing else. Okay, so just your name and address in the body of the email. That's all we need. So one uh, per household. And next Thursday, we will be giving away the Top Test Combustible Leak Gas Leak Detector. Boy, I'm having, having, having trouble with that one today. And guys and girls, I will see you next Thursday on that. Actually, Monday, we've got a, wow. Wow, we got a lot of cool stuff coming in and it's like, and I'm still digging through. So we got a backup again, like always, of new tools and things. Some innovative, some new stuff that I'm kind of excited to see how it all works. So see you Monday. Yeah, meantime, uh, Saturday we might put something out. I don't know. It's, it's one of those crazy weekends again coming up. Meantime, uh, be good everybody, will you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> over and out.